here. I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I can't wait to share the information in this video with you on how to get your teeth amazingly white, kind of blindingly white, and I never really had totally white teeth until very recently and even my dentist has been commenting that over the past nine months or so I've been using a different technique to make my teeth even whiter than they were before and she says it's totally safe, it does not harm my tooth enamel, but she even has commented on how amazingly white my teeth have gotten, and I am so happy about this, and many of you have been asking, you know, several people anyway have been asking, do you use veneers or something like, I'm sure she uses veneers, and I do not have any veneers on these teeth. I am pretty lucky in that I never had to have braces, my teeth were very white growing up, and they were also very straight, however, I drink a ton of coffee, like a ton, and in fact that is another kind of semi-addictive issue that I need to deal with, and I think in the future I'm going to be going on one month without coffee and doing a video about it because I think it's gotten a little out of hand, but in other words, so much coffee does not do my teeth any favors, but even with that, my advanced teeth whitening techniques that I've been using have really, really helped. And to begin with, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things that help us as we get to be into our second half, whether you're 30, 40, 50 or more, and I will say, if you're in your 30s, I would have an older YouTuber in your stash because with the older ones, like me, I'm 63 years old, you can tell what older women are doing to keep themselves looking younger and fresher. Okay, let's get into this. And before I get into the video, I'll show you my top because I want you to know I have one on because I look like I'm nude. But anyway, this is my top and I got it at Thread Up, and I'll show you a little outfit of the day video about it. Okay, this is my outfit of the day. Actually, it's my outfit of the evening because Alan and I are going out tonight, as I mentioned, and I just have on a little top, a little off the shoulder top that I bought from Thread Up. I think it was maybe $10. And speaking of $10, I have a $10 off coupon below the video. If you want to go to Thread Up and you've never purchased there before, you get $10 off and I get $10 too. It's called the Refer a Friend Program and I really appreciate it if you would like to try Thread Up because it helps me as well. But most importantly, I think it helps you. In fact, I turned on Donna, one of my friends, to Thread Up. She didn't seem like the type of person who would shop at a gently used online clothing store, but she loved it. And she said, unfortunately, it's becoming kind of a habit, which it is for me, for sure. But anyway, okay, the top is thread up, and then the jeans are, here it is, 724 high rise straight. There they are, whoa, 724 high rise straight. And I absolutely love them. They are, you know, straight leg jeans, and as everybody knows, the skinnies are going out, which is sad because I just bought a whole bunch of them maybe six months ago. But anyway, I do like the straight leg jeans very well. I've always liked them. And uh, my sister was smart. She saved all of hers. In fact, she never quit wearing them, but I did. I went into the skinnies. But now I've got, uh, I've got these in a blue, dark wash blue, and also a black. And the darker your wash, the more formal it feels, but also the slimmer you look. That's why I do dark wash jeans. I really don't like the washed out light blue jeans very well. Okay, that was a look at my outfit for this evening with Alan. And I will say I love Thread Up because I would not pay $80 for a top like this because I will probably wear it one or two or three times maybe because it's a little bit bare, but it's perfect for a date. And I think it was $10. So if you are thinking about venturing out into the gently used designer clothing area, then I hope you'll click the link below and go to Thread Up and take a look. Okay, let's get into this video, and I hope you'll stick around for the end because I have some other really fun things to share with you, including my best perfume that I absolutely love and some of the makeup items I have on my face, and I'll share that with you later on in the video. And then at the end of the video, I have some information I want to share with you about the magic, the true magic of thinking positive, because it really is magic. Okay, let's get into this. And I will tell you that I have been using a new tooth whitening system called Fairy Will, and it's got my little elastic on it. And I have a video about this, which I will link below. And what it is, it is teeth whitening strips right here. And I have reordered these strips three times because I think they are so fabulous. They do a wonderful job. They do not make my teeth sensitive. 
And then it comes with this little blue light, and here it is, and you charge it there. And it's interesting, my husband ordered this, and his blue light has a little battery. Go figure, I don't know. But anyway, you just basically turn it on. Let's see if it's charged up enough. It may not be charged. Okay, there it is. And then you put the strips on your teeth, and you stick the blue light in, and you leave it on for an hour. And what the blue light does is it really speeds up the whitening process. You know, you can use the strips and that's fine. And sometimes I do that if this thing uh, needs to be charged. But when you use the blue light, it just really intensifies the whitening. And it is scientifically proven to do that. And I totally recommend the Fairy Wheel strips. And again, I keep reordering them. And earlier in my channel, somebody with a $250 teeth whitening kit sent it to me and it was good. I mean, it was good but I never did reorder it because $250, I'm sorry. I think this one is like $16, $20, somewhere in there, and you get a lot of whitening strips in that. So I would highly recommend this, but that is not my advanced tooth whitening technique, and I will share that with you. And I will say that I learned this technique maybe nine months ago from Tracy Hensel, and there she is, absolutely beautiful YouTuber. I think she's 50 years old, so she's 13 years younger than I am, but she has blazingly white teeth, and she shared the information that I'll be sharing in this video with you, and you might check out her channel. She's just wonderful. I sent her an email because I would love to do a collab with her, never heard anything. I got a little hurt feelings at first, but then I remembered, as I'm going to share in the end of this video, she probably just didn't even see my email, but she's amazing. Okay, let's get into this. So basically, you get your teeth as white as you can using that tooth whitening kit. It takes a week or two. And then I use the strips maybe one night or two nights a week, something like that, or when I have a big event coming. But to get them even whiter, I use the Fairy Wheel Tooth Whitening Kit. I, of course, use a good whitening toothpaste. And I was using the Crest 3D White, and I really do like this. I think it's awesome. And I had used this maybe for a year or two, really still very much like this. And I have several of these in there and I'll continue to use it. But then my friend Jeannie at work recommended this Colgate Renewal set of toothpaste. And I got two of them here. And she says this makes your teeth totally feel like you've just had a cleaning at the dentist. And quite honestly, I am not sure of that. I'm not sure. I think I might like this one just as well. But basically, this says reverses early damage. Oh, this is the sensitivity repair. I ordered this one from my husband, Alan, which is for when you have sensitive teeth. But the other one says removes 10 years of yellow stains on your teeth. That's the one, of course, that I use because it promises the most glam for your bucks. But I didn't really notice any difference using that Colgate toothpaste. So I could go back to the Crest 3D White and it is a good one. Okay, then I do the normal things, which is dental flossing, and I do that twice a day. And this is the Listerine Dental Flosser. And, you know, some people say, oh, you know, when you use this, it doesn't wrap around your teeth enough. It's not as effective. But I talked to my dentist about it, and she said, Beth, anything that makes it easier to floss your teeth so you do it is just fine. So she swears by this, and it is just fine, and I do it morning and evening. And then, I guess I can't say I don't have any veneers on my teeth. These are not veneers. But, and this is kind of a weird story, but I had a crown with a root canal, covering up a root canal, and uh, terrible thing. I, my knee swelled up horribly. I had rheumatoid arthritis. My knee swelled up like balloons after I had chipped this crown, and the dentist had taken it off, pulled out the root canal, and I am telling you, it was the grossest smell ever. Apparently, I had an infected root canal underneath that crown, and I did some reading about that, and the swelling that I had in my knee totally happened right after that, and so I ended up believing that I needed to have that root canal removed, and I did that. And to do that, and I know this is weird, I had another tooth removed behind it, and I have a three-tooth bridge here. And it starts from here, back here, one, two, three. So that is a bridge, and it is permanently in my mouth, which is nice, and I have to say that there was some research that I read about that said that infected root canals can cause terrible joint problems in the rest of your body. And I feel like it did in my case. So, you know, that's why I ended up with a three tooth bridge, which is not ideal. But anyway, I think it did help with my arthritis because my knees went down after that, after getting that root canal out. Okay, too much information, but I did want to tell you that these are, you know, fake teeth right here, basically. But the rest of my teeth are totally my own teeth. And so anyway, this is what I use to clean under that bridge. And if you have a bridge, this dental floss is wonderful. 
And I use one piece for several nights, quite honestly. But basically, you just take this and then you stick it in there and pull it underneath your bridge. And make sure to do this if you have a bridge because you can get tooth decay under your bridge and it's not good for your gums. So I do use that. But now, here is the absolute perfect advanced tooth whitening system. And this is what Tracy Hensel shared, and this is what I've been doing, and she's absolutely right. It gives you beautiful, glistening white teeth. And quite honestly, no matter how much I used tooth whitening systems in the past, I still had yellow dog teeth here and here, the canines. I don't know if they're called that, but that's what I think of them as. They were always very yellow, and actually using this advanced tooth whitening system that I'll tell you about, which is very easy and very cheap, that is what totally took those teeth almost to white. The bottom ones have maybe a tad bit of yellow, but not much. I mean, my teeth are really looking good. So what I do is I take my toothbrush and I do use the Sonicare electric toothbrush and I should have brought it in here. And in a minute, I'll show you these things in my tooth whitening drawer, I guess, my toothbrushing drawer. So I'll show you how this works and you can see my Sonicare toothbrush and I linked it below because studies show that using that Sonicare is much better for your teeth. And I make myself now do it for the whole two minutes. I used to have a hard time waiting, but then I started realizing that I needed to do double duty because I really needed to make myself do you know each quadrant for 30 seconds or whatever for two minutes of brushing with that Sonicare. And to keep myself doing it for two minutes, sometimes I will do some like squats or something like that, or demi plies, whatever you call them. So I feel like I'm making my thighs look better while I'm giving my teeth enough time to get cleaned. But anyway, so I take that Sonicare toothbrush and I put some water on it. Then I put some toothpaste on the Sonicare and I dip it in this. And this is just common baking soda. I just got this out of my kitchen. It's baking soda. It's a little bit abrasive, but it's not bad on your teeth at all. And then I dip the toothbrush with the toothpaste and the baking soda on it. I spray it actually with a little bit of this 3% hydrogen peroxide. This is the Equate brand at Walmart. I think it's maybe a dollar, dollar fifty, something like that, and it lasts forever. And I do that before I start brushing my teeth and then I brush my teeth and it absolutely gives me beautiful breath and sparklingly white teeth. Well, that was a look at my advanced teeth whitening system and it really does work. And my dentist is totally amazed by the great whitening I'm getting. And I've really become kind of a tooth person. And in fact, my insurance pays to get a cleaning twice a year and I've added a third time a year because I really do like it when I have totally clean teeth from the dentist. So anyway, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging, including making your teeth their sparkling whitest best, then I hope you'll subscribe. And when you click that little bell, that just sends you email notifications of my future videos. Okay, before I get into my thought for the day, I did want to tell you about a few products I'm using and loving. This is the cologne that I have on to go out with Alan tonight. And I love this. I've run out of it for a long time and I started using some cheap stuff, but I came back to this. Absolutely love this. And this is my second bottle of both of these. This is the Jo Malone Orange Blossom Cologne. And her colognes are designed to be mixed and layered if you want to. And this is her Wild Blue Belt. And I have it on. Oh my gosh, I'm going to put it on again. I absolutely love it. This is Orange Blossom. Oh, it is fantastic. And if you really, really like sweet smelling florals, that cannot be beat. And then I layer it with a little bit of the Wild Blue Bell. Oh, that smells so good. Absolutely love that. And then on my lips, I have this MAC lipstick in the color you wouldn't get it. And this is like my third tube. And I've talked about this many times, but it is absolutely beautiful. I'll put it on again. I saw the lady at the MAC counter wearing it and I said, what do you have on? And she said, everybody loves this. And I totally get that. And then this is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Super Size Me. And this is just a little kind of a rosy nude color. And I've just gone in and done a little bit around my lips. Kind of help them define the edge a little bit. I'm not into making my lips bigger because I just had lip fillers. <laughs> and they don't need to be any bigger than they are. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the color Pillow Talk, and there it is. And as you can see, it just gives me a little bit of gloss. It's a little bit peachy with a little bit of glisten, and I just think that's beautiful. I've used it for several years, and this is my second tube of this. Absolutely love that. And my blush that I'm wearing is again Charlotte Tilbury, and I really love her blushes. And here is that, isn't that interesting? 
and it is the Cheek to Chic Swish and Pop Blusher in the color Ecstasy. And basically, I just kind of swirl it around. It's got highlighter around the outside and a little bit of the color on the inside. And I just think it is a beautiful, very neutral, peachy pink color that looks great on everyone. Okay, now it's time for my thought for the day. And normally I read from a positive thinking card deck and talk about that. But this afternoon, I think I'd like to share something that happened to me last night. And for those of you who have followed my channel, you know that I have mentioned that I suffer from a little bit of mild depression from time to time, but I usually have been able to handle that. I'm not on medication or anything like that, and it's not horribly severe at all, but sometimes I have this feeling, oh, is that all there is? But recently, I have really been working on my attitude and increasing my vibration, my positive thoughts, and I really haven't had hardly any problems with that for the most part. Well, last night, maybe about four o'clock, uh, something went on at work and all of a sudden I just felt deflated and I just felt like, oh, we're never going to make it to our goal, whatever. And for some reason, I let those feelings of depression kind of overtake me. I then came home and I just felt kind of lousy. Oh, and on the way home, I ate a candy bar and I won't tell you the brand because it is like the crack of candy bars. I wish I'd never had the first one because maybe about once a week I will go and get one of these candy bars and I don't want to share it with you in case it turns you on because you don't need to know that. But anyway, then I felt bad because that candy bar was really not on my, you know, what I eat in a day plans. And so I got home and maybe it was the sugar slump, but I just felt lousy. And Alan came home and he said, hey, will you go to Home Depot with me because I've got to return something and I need your driver's license. Long story. But anyway, at first I was going to say, no, you go. I don't really want to go because I wasn't feeling up to it. And then I thought, you know, that's ridiculous, Beth. You are letting yourself get down. You've got this thought thing playing in your head about that thing at work. You know, you feel guilty for eating that candy bar. And so you're letting yourself get down. And I thought, what would I recommend to myself, speaking to myself from my normal better mood to this mood? And I realized what I would say is, Beth, I'm going to kick you in the butt. You stop that. That is dangerous to be negative because that's only going to take you into a dark area you don't want to be in and that you really have to do something to get your thoughts more positive. And so I decided to listen to one of the affirmation tapes that I listen to in the mornings to pump myself up for the day. And I told Alan, I will go with you because I knew that was the right answer, you know, not to, to shut Alan out of my life just because I wasn't feeling the best. So I said, give me five minutes though because I wanna do this little affirmation meditation. And so I sat there with my earbuds in and I listened to the affirmations. And the more I listened, the better I felt. And I realized that I have everything to be grateful for in my life. And that even though no life is perfect and you have those moments of down experiences or negativity, it's up to us to bring ourselves up, to increase our vibration, that kind of thing. And it really did work. And I did that for five minutes. I went out with Alan. And while I didn't feel maybe 100% of how I feel when I feel great, I would say I got to 80, 85%, which is a lot better than when I was slumping down on the couch at about 20%. And this afternoon, actually this morning, I watched a YouTube video, it was a TED Talk, and that's what I do when I lift weights in the morning. I put these YouTube videos on and I learn from them, and I would advise you to do that too. If you have something that you have to do, you might as well put something on that's entertaining. Well, this TED Talk was absolutely wonderful, and the title of it is, How to Use Quantum Physics to Make Your Dreams Your Reality, and it's by Suzanne Adams, and it was an absolutely wonderful TED Talk, and it was only 10 or 12 minutes, but it really gave you a lot of great information about the importance of positive thinking, positive thoughts, positive words, and positive actions. And basically, she was talking about all the science behind the magic of thinking positively, the magic of thinking big, and how the thoughts that we think and the words that we say actually have energy that goes out into the cosmos and produces results, either positive or negative, depending upon how positive or negative we are being. And in the middle of her video, she showed this diagram called the Hertz Vibration Scale, and I'll show it to you in just a few minutes, but it basically shows the lower vibration, the lower energy thoughts we can have or emotional states that we can be in versus the higher one. And the whole trick is if you're lower on that vibrational scale, you need to raise your vibration. And here is a look at that. It is called the Hertz Vibration Scale. And as you can see, the lower frequency energies are things like shame and guilt, like my guilt over the candy bar, 
my fear that the company wasn't going to do well. Basically, these are the lower kind of emotional states. Up to 200 is courage, willingness, acceptance, reason, love is a 500, joy, 540, peace, and enlightenment. And so basically, if you are living your life out of those lower frequencies of guilt, shame, self-hatred, that kind of thing, girls, you just can't do that anymore. Our thoughts are things. And they determine our reality. And I'm learning that more and more and more. And it's something I hope you'll take to heart. So just for today, if you're thinking one of those lower vibrational thoughts or letting yourself go low, forget that and make yourself go high. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.